repairing the black and decker pressure water pump. Recently, I successfully completed a DIY project to repair my garden pressure water pump, which had stopped working. The pressure pump operates based on a circular rotary motion of a metal disc positioned at a slight oblique angle within the engine chamber. As the motor spins at high speed, it activates three spring-loaded pistons, pressurizing the inlet water and expelling it at a significantly high pressure. To begin the repair process, I carefully opened the casing by removing the several screws that held it together. Next, I proceeded to loosen and remove the four long Allen bolts that secured the pressure pump to the engine. Upon opening the chamber, I discovered that the ball bearings and circular discs were damaged, resulting in scattered metal debris within the engine chamber. To address this issue, I meticulously cleared out all the metal debris, ensuring a thorough cleanup of the engine chamber. Additionally, I purchased replacement parts, including spring-loaded piston rings, a rubber gasket, a ball-bearing casing, and two circular steel discs from Lazada, at a cost of 44 ringgit. I then proceeded to replace the damaged steel bearings with the new ones I had purchased. Afterwards, I carefully poured engine oil into the chamber and greased the ball bearings. I proceeded to replace the three spring-loaded pistons with new ones and installed the rubber seal. With all the necessary repairs and replacements completed, I reassembled the pump, ensuring that all components were properly aligned and secured. To give the pump a fresh look, I applied an orange and black spray paint to the plastic housing. Finally, I tested the repaired pump in my garden and was delighted to find that it worked perfectly, functioning as intended. By successfully repairing my black and decker pressure water pump, I not only saved money but also gained valuable hands-on experience in fixing mechanical devices.